Hi Reception, it's Miss Hush here and we're going to be doing some maths together today. Now I'm going to be introducing you to 3D shapes. So they are shapes that are 3D. In the past we have looked at something called 2D shapes which are all your flat shapes like triangles, squares, rectangles. But today we are looking at 3D shapes. So whereas 2D shapes are flat, 3D shapes are fat. I like to think of them as stretched shapes and you can hold them in your hand and they've got all different sides so what i'm going to do today is show you the 3d shapes explain what their name is and how you can identify them and then i'm going to set you a little bit of a task to do at home okay so the first shape that we are going to look at together is this one here let's have a look at this one hmm looks like it has got a square face and actually it has lots of square faces it has got six square faces should we count them to check one two three four five six six square faces that are all exactly the same size they're all the same shape so six square faces if you see a shape that has six square faces and is 3D, it is called a cube. Your turn. Cube. Well done. Cube. Cube. The next shape that we're going to have a look at is this one here. This one is a cone. Cone. And how I can tell it's a cone is because it has one pointy top and one circle face and one rounded side. So a pointy top, circle face and a rounded side. And it's a cone. And another way to help you remember that is if you flip it over, it's a bit like an ice cream cone, isn't it? So that's a really helpful way of remembering what its name is. Cone. Cone. So we have looked at a cube and a cone so far. The next shape we're going to have a look at is this one here. This one is called a cylinder. 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 And the way I can tell that it's a cylinder is because if you have a look at it, look, it's got one, two circle faces and one continuous rounded side. So a cylinder has two circle faces and a rounded side okay and i like to think of it as a bit like a stretched circle so whereas our cube is like a stretched square our cylinder is like a stretched circle so we say cylinder cylinder well done that's brilliant so we have got cube cone cylinder and the next shape we're going to look at is this one. This is a cuboid. 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 Well done. It looks a little bit like a cube, but you see they're slightly different. Whereas a cube has got square faces, a cuboid has got rectangle faces. And it has six rectangle faces, but two of them are a different size to the other four. So you have four exactly the same, four faces exactly the same shaped rectangle and two a different size, okay? So it's like a stretched rectangle. So it's got six rectangle faces. Whereas a cube has only got six square faces, okay? So you've got four the same and two slightly different shaped. This is a cuboid. Cuboid. So, so far we've got cube, cone, cylinder and cuboid. Right, the next shape. Hmm. Do you know what this is? I heard a few of you say it's a ball, but it's not actually a ball. It's got a special 3D shape name. It's called a sphere. Can you say that? Sphere. Sphere. Well done. And a sphere. Does it have any corners? 
it doesn't have any edges. It's just got one continuous round curved side and it's called a sphere. Well done. Brilliant. So, so far we've got cube, cone, cylinder, cuboid and sphere. And the final shape I'm going to introduce you to is this one. I wonder if you recognise this one because it looks like the pyramids in Egypt. And actually, that's what its name is. It is a pyramid. 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 That's right. And how I can tell it's a pyramid is because it has a pointy top and triangle sides. Now, this pyramid is actually a square-based pyramid. So it has got one single square base and one two three four triangle sides and one pointy top and it is a pyramid well done so so far we have got cube cone cylinder cuboid sphere and pyramid well done if you got those right. Now, we have put a link on to the planning for the 3D shape song, which will help you learn your 3D shape names. And it's a really fun way of doing it. So I suggest that you go away and watch that video. And you can watch it again and again and again until you know all the 3D shape names. But I've got one more activity I want you to do at home as well. Now, I want you to go on a 3D shape hunt. See if you can find any of these 3D shapes around your house. They might be disguised as everyday objects. Now, I had a go at this before I filmed this. And I found a few different things without even really going very far. Shall I show you? I found this sand timer. And it looks like one of our 3D shapes. Which one is it? Can you spot it? Cylinder, cylinder, they both have two circle faces and one curved side. This sand timer is the same shape as a cylinder. It is a cylinder. What else did I find on my travels? Hmm, see if you can get what this one is. I found this dice. Seems to have square faces. And how many has it got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Which of these shapes had six square faces? No. 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 Look, a cube. A cube has six square faces. So this dice is the same shape as a cube. It's a cube. Wow. And the final thing I found when I was looking for 3D shapes in school was this, this tissue box. Hmm, I wonder what 3D shape this is the same as. It seems to have, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six rectangle faces. Now I know that's not a cube. Which 3D shape had six rectangle faces where four were longer than the other two? It was a cuboid. Well done if you got that right. So I have found some 3D shapes in the environment. Can you go and look around your house and see what you can find? I can't wait to see how you get on. Bye.